Hi, Jenny Mary here, and today I want to share some ideas for sparking the joy of writing in your classroom. The ideas I'm going to share can be adapted for all grade levels, but the resources are geared for upper elementary and middle school students. In this presentation, we will quickly discuss different resources available to create fun writing prompts, offer suggestions on timing, and consider how creating an authentic audience might motivate your reluctant writers. As upper elementary and middle school teachers, we feel pressure to have our students write complete and polished essays. Of course, that is important, but do we balance those demanding tasks with prompts that allow students to be creative and have fun with their written words? My hope is that you will find one of the following resources helpful and that your students find ways to be creative because of it. Here are some of my favorite writing resources. I'll share the sites and why I love them. Write, Write, Write series is from Jason Reynolds. Jason Reynolds is a popular young adult author. He wrote Ghost, A Long Way Down, and American Boys, just to name a few. This site has some extremely creative writing prompts, like create a good luck charm and write about a new invention. Each prompt has a video of Reynolds explaining the writing task, and he even gives students some examples. Let's take a look. So here's an example of one of his prompts, write a newspaper headline, and then you can see that there's a video here. And um, in this video, he would explain um, what a newsline had or what a newspaper headline is, and um, gives some and give students some examples of what they could write. The next writing um, resource that I want to share with you is your as would you rather prompts. I find that students love hypothetical situations. So why not give them some fun situations to write about? Like, would you rather only charge your phone once a week or not have a camera on your phone? Would you rather have your grandma or your grandpa follow you around school for the day? I like to add a why to each of these questions to practice reasoning for argumentative writing. Let's take a look at this one. So on this site, I mean, there's, there's a ton of would you rather questions that you could use. I found this site useful because it um, categorized the different prompts. So technology, pop culture, family, grossed out, has different food, <laughs> food prompts on here, um, questions about school, Fantasy, future self, extracurricular activities. There's some fun ones on here. Next writing resource is from the New York Times Learning Network, and it's um, called What's Going On in This Picture. I love this site and this resource. Um, here's a little bit about it. Every Monday morning, the Learning Network shares an image without a caption. Students are asked to answer three questions. What is going on in this picture? What do you see that makes you say that? And what more can you find out? Students can add their thoughts to the New York Times Learning Network post and see what other students around the world think about this image. Then on Thursday morning, the Learning Network team posts more details about the picture and students can compare the, um, the new ideas to their original thinking. I love this resource because it gets kids thinking outside the box and they are able to learn from and with others. Here is what this site looks like. So this is the newest one and you would click on this picture and then it would walk you through the steps. So look closely at this image, answer these questions. And then if you wanted to join the conversation, um, you can go to the comment button, which is up here and students can comment on that. And then it talks about um, when the, the caption will be revealed in more details about the, um, the, original, the original picture. It has really engaging photos. My students loved this in the past. 
And the last resource I'm going to share is also from the New York Times Learning Network. This resource contains a combination of relevant short articles and picture prompts. Students are asked to read the article or view the picture and read um, and read a short related caption um, and answer some questions related to that post. Then students can read the original article this picture or article came from, which was from the New York, or New York Times article. And similar to what's going on in this picture, students are able to post their thoughts and see what other students around the world are thinking. I love What I love about this resource is that students are able to express their voice in a very low stakes environment. Let's take a look at this. This video is very helpful. It kind of walks you through it a little bit more than I did right now. So you could see that they're pretty relevant. Um, holidays, um, Thanksgiving, Giving Tuesday, what was going or what's going on in Ukraine, um, different animals, social media, fall or fall back. So all of these posts you would click on one. Um, that maybe goes along with the unit that you're studying, and it could be a great anticipatory set for your students for that unit. All right, let's talk about timing. Finding time is always an issue. So my suggestion would be to start designating time for quick writes a couple times a week. Um, for maybe five to six minutes. Hopefully after a couple of months, you'll see your students excited to write and be able to allot time for daily writing. I've had teachers tell me that they designated the first six to seven minutes of their ELA block to daily writing, and it helps to focus their students' attention for that class period. And lastly, when it comes to writing, one way to foster a natural motivation within your students and your writers is to create an authentic audience. An authentic audience is someone other than the teacher reading their writing. This could be classmates, parents, pen pals, community members, etc. This is important because it moves writing, the writing assignment from writing for just a grade to writing to communicate ideas. One way to do that is with quick write, or one way to do that with quick writes is to offer time for author's chair. This can be as simple as placing a chair in the front of the room and allowing volunteers to read their writing from the day. You may not get a ton of volunteers at first, but over time, students will be excited to hear their classmates and share their own ideas. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found um, one of the resources exciting and you um, want to use it with your students. Please note that the resources are linked on slide four if you would like to use them.